All right, guys, let's see what the uh, little trader's market has today. Probably not gonna have that many people here because it's Black Friday, but let's go ahead and give a peek. Looks like he put more in here. Super modified. Look at this billionth car collection. Never seen one of these. That's cool. Ten bucks. Need to look around some more. But that is that's pretty sweet. I've never seen that. Still hoping to find that Mustang or just something new. Another Porsche, the Panamera. Is, a, is it a Targa? It just needs some cleaning about it. It's kind of gross. A little Laguna Seca. I think I saw that one here last time. Oh, look at this. A Genesis. You have the Genesis Coupe. Huh. Look at this Ferrari. Ooh, Mario Andretti. That's pretty sweet. Oh, look at that. That is an interesting Corvette. Look at that, guys. K55 Corvette Caper Cart. 1975. That is cool. That is super cool. All right, I'll come back for that. All right, I've been waiting for this guy to uncover his stuff for a while. He has some die casts I want to check out. Morning. How you doing? I'm doing good. Been trying to catch you on opening every time I come here. It's closed. I'm like, dang it. <laughs> Get that.
I uh, have not seen any yet. <laughs> You mind if I look through these? No. Okay. All right. Ooh, nice tail dragger. Awesome. Thank you. Lexus. Remember those. Let's move this. Ooh, that's nice. What do we got up here? Some nice Mustangs. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, I got a stack over there. <laughs> Maserati. The Bugatti. Nice.
All right, guys, so these are all of my hauls since we left. Um, I need to put everything in cases or in the totes that they need to be in. So I got my little exclusive tech decks over here, my ultra rares. This is my five pack container. I do have all my loose baggies over here, um, but I do need to put my <clears throat> motor show five pack in here. I think we could fit the 10 pack that I got from the cubby hole before I left. Let's go ahead and put this in here. It should fit. Try to maneuver our way in here. So we have that one. This should go in a separate case. Motor show. And then let's go ahead and move these. All right, there's that. Put those in there. Just trying to make some room. So I think that one's good. That one has all the multi-pack stuff in there. Um, and then we'll go over what I just bought, which is in this bag. So you guys saw that guy had a lot of old blue card stuff. Um, you know, I'm real big into that. So I did buy a good amount and you had them for two bucks each. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera light on. Um, that way you can see what I picked up from Let's see, I don't even remember what I got from the cubby hole. All right, got a couple Testarossa, Porsche Panamera. All right, so this one right here, guys, you remember I picked up the Oldsmobile Aurora GT3 in the beautiful white and blue racing livery. So I just picked up another one. Um, this is a different livery. It's still got the Hot Wheels flame, but it's got the chrome saw blades. Of course, the chassis mounted wing, I believe it's white. But the blister itself is yellowing, or maybe the car is yellow, I'm not too sure. Um, it's very hard to tell, really. I wanna say it's yellow. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, I don't know. Yeah, I think it is yellow. Sweet, so it's a yellow Oldsmobile Aurora. This one's the GT3, this one is not. Um, so I don't know when they changed just to the Aurora and the GT3, but I'll put that info on the screen. Then I picked up this beautiful one. Check this one out. Look at that silver metallic. Got the red chassis mounted wing, the gold lace wheels. I think this one is my favorite one out of all of them. I think it just looks really good. So I believe they both have the number one on them. Yeah. So this one is the old Aurora GTS one regular Aurora and then the GT3. I wonder what the biggest difference between the GTS1 and the GT3 is. I don't know, they look exactly the same. So I think that is super sweet. And then ever since I got turned on to these uh, Tomasima 3s, just cannot pass him up, but check it out. He had two wheel variations. You have the chrome lace wheels and the PR5 variation right there. So definitely wanted to pick it up. They're both first editions. So I think that is super cool. Both number 70s. Um, and this one right here, guys, the Cunningham C4R 2001 first edition. Check this out, guys. Beautiful white enamel. You got the chrome five spokes all the way around and those nice blue metallic stripes running down the center. Just really captures what it is. You guys gotta let me know a little bit more info on the Cunningham, I'm not too familiar, but you definitely do see the Shelby 427 traits in it. Of course, um, this was probably may maybe from the same company that did the car that Shelby used for the 427. You guys gotta let me know down below, but I could not pass this up. It's collector number 51. But look at that, guys. Very, very cool looking. And then next up, I did pick up the Riley and Scott MK3. I do have this one loose, and I definitely wanted to get it carded, but you do have the chrome lace wheels all the way around. Nice dark blue metallic. You have the nice white wing with the Hot Wheels flame, white interior, and of course, the number one and the racing livery, but that is a nice car. It's collector number 39. Next up, I did pick up the Lexus SC400. I'm pretty sure a lot of you were wondering if I was gonna pass it up or not, um, but I definitely wanted to get my hands on it. I used to have a green one, or maybe it was maroon as a kid, um, but this is my first Lexus SC400 in my collection. 
um, but as you can see it is a nice yellow enamel with the orange lower half and the silver and black flame style deco on there you have the chrome three spoke wheels tan interior and of course just your basic casting details for headlights and taillights but look at that out of the cn 3d series he did have a few of those cars in there it's number 11 definitely could not pass up this one guys the legendary pontiac banshee look at that nice purple metallic chrome five spokes all the way around it is a full metal cast so i'm curious on how it would do on the track but of course i'm not going to open this one it's collector 457 you can see it has the clear canopy with the black and black inserts right there on the front and nice headlight detail very very cool definitely wanted to pick this up um, and then last but definitely not least the pikes peak tacoma one of my favorite style trucks growing up when I had this one as a kid. Um, but you do have the crash deco in red, yellow, and white. The gold lace wheels all the way around. You have the red tonneau cover, red race interior, and the number two right there on the hood with CD-ROM. I think that is really cool. So CD Custom Series. It's collector 30 out of 2000. So definitely cool. Um, I, like I said, I wasn't sure if I have these wheel variations for the Tomasima. I should have it in one of these bags. Definitely not this one. Maybe it's in here. Um, I don't know. Let's see. I forgot what I even bought over the last few weeks. Oh, yeah. The BMW M3 <laughs> E36 Premium. But yeah, this is all stuff that I left, that I picked up from Fry's before I left. You have the two Toyota GR Supras with the base variation. So you can see right here, I did make a post. You have the 2020 to Toyota GR Supra font. And then you have the bigger Toyota GR Supra font on this one, where this one is italicized a little bit and smaller. And this font right there is much larger. So I thought that was really cool as a base variation. In case you guys didn't know, there is a base variation for that. And then I did pick up two of the Power Grab Ryu Asada Subaru SVXs before I left Arizona. This is my tuner for the Mustang. So I got to put that back in the car. Um, I believe these were for the first hauls. Yeah, these were from Denver. You got the Zamac, number 14 El Camino and the number 15 Tune Twin Mill. Uh, what else is in this bag? Oh yeah, here's the carded Ryu Asada that I picked up. You guys already seen all this stuff. I'm just trying to take it out of my car. You guys seen that already. These are all cubby hole finds. Uh, what's in this bag? Oh yeah, the Ford GT that I just recently picked up. Oh, here we go. We got the Treasure Hunt Ford Galaxy. A couple main lines, the Porsche 993 and the RX-7. So. Definitely gonna put these off to the side because these are my newest ones. Oh, man, I got so much stuff, guys. Uh, you got two more of the Zamac Land Rover Defenders. All right, these ones are the ones I think I picked the Tomasima in. So there we go. We got the five spoke variation. So yes, I got three variations of the Tomasima. And this one doesn't even have the Tomasima 3. Tampo, so we got five spoke, PR5, and the lace wheels. Check that out. Nice, and all first editions. Sweet. All right, still got these. That one is a newer case car. You got the Jaguar. This is a big recap, guys. You got the Hot Wheels 500, the Chaparral, and the AMG GT3. So like I always say guys, if you ever see a car that you're not sure if you have the wheel variation of, just pick it up. It worked out today, so I was able to get all three wheel variations. I don't know how many variations there are, but I'll put it up on the screen. I have so much stuff, guys. Look at this. Got the Fast and Furious Premiums. Definitely gotta reorganize my totes now. Got the Honda S2000 and the Hellcat. Oh man, these are all the ones I got from the bookstore. No. Here is a second carded SVX. So I got a total of four, I guess. Two carded and two power grabs. Got them for trades. All right, and these were the last time. I'm actually trading one of these away, so I got to set that off to the side. One goes in the collection. So there's the Super Chase. 
These are all the cars that I picked up last time at the Trader's Market. Let's see, got another Jaguar D-Type. That'll go with this one. Got this super clean Nissan hard body. I love that one. That bag's good. And the Golf MK1. Oh yeah, there's this one. This was one of the loose cars I picked up. I think this one's out of the Hot Wheels Exotics pack. All right, there, yeah, these are all the expensive $4 ones that I picked up from that candy store that one time. Super expensive, guys. Never ever shop there. That was ridiculous. But I did walk away with some good ones. I know everyone's gonna love the Chevy C10. These were my loose um, Countach, both the gold and the neon. Got the old school Ford Escort. Here's the Cadillac. And then of course all the little micro machines. Got the Ferrari 348. And there's those. Go ahead and get rid of this bag. All right, so my hauler set. You got the Ford hauler set. The Mercedes. You got the Alfa Romeo matchbox. And then the notchback Fox body. Almost done with the bag, guys. Almost done. Then in this one, you got the super of the Ford F1, the 49 that Raul hooked me up with. Definitely got to put this in the super case, which is under here. You got my Advan R32. I did open one it's at work on my desk. My second Porsche 356 Outlaw Super. Definitely got to get a protective case for that. This beautiful custom from Kingnet. So it's time to pull that one out and put it in a safe storage. So this was all of the Q case and A case that I just recently picked up. All this stuff, guys, definitely has to make its rounds um, into my cases. So there we go. Definitely an awesome haul from the Traders Market. Definitely stoked to get those wheel variations. Um, but yeah, awesome Oldsmobile Aurora variations as far as the titling of names goes the GTS one, the GT3, and then the regular. Um, but yeah, that is all we got. I just need to really organize all this stuff. We are just, it looks hectic in this small little hotel that we're staying in, so. So I'm still organizing stuff. I have everything kind of situated where they're at. Um, but I ended up finding my other Tomasima 3s uh, that I had gotten in a package before. This is what really turned me on to this casting was this one and I believe it was this one that was sent together. So now I got uh, four of the red, two PR5s, but three different wheel variations. And of course the black and then everything else that I picked up today is laid out here. Um, man, I'm trying to go through all my loose Ferraris. I got my Getty gas station exclusive and all my loose Ferraris right here. Check this out. Oh, it's a beautiful one. Got my two base variation Porsche 911s. You can see this one's the blue chrome base, and that one's just a regular chrome base. So in case you are out there hunting, check for the base variation. So there we go. Definitely keep your eyes out for those. Always looking for variations, guys. You just never know. Just always double check. Here's some more Ferraris. As ever since, I've been trying to get my Ferraris up. I have collected a bunch. Look at that, loose Ferraris there. I got Lamborghinis, um, more loose Ferraris. Got the 333s. You see some Ferraris down there. It's everywhere, I got this wheel variation of the black metallic with the old school five spokes. And then I got this one with the three spokes. And I'm pretty sure in this case with my other Ferraris, I have the one with the gold lace wheels. So I think there's only three variations of the wheels. I'm not too sure, you guys can let me know down the bottom, but trying to reorganize guys, <laughs> trying to reorganize. Still gotta figure out where to put this exclusive 429. Um, the ones that I just recently got and then just going through all of this stuff, guys. Look at that, more Ferraris right here. You got the GTBs, the 360 Modena. Got a bunch more guys, a bunch more in here. Oh, that's funny. I was looking at the surf and school bus and then I seen the Mustang on the back. PlayStation 2. 
Got the Kroger exclusives, another Ferrari Matchbox. Got this Boss 302. In case you guys were wondering, these are where all my goodies are at. All the customs from Calpedo Dust Stuff. My buddy Kenneth. Cards I got from Trevor Samuda. All my stuff in here, guys. I don't think I ever showed you guys this one, but I did end up picking this one up before I left Arizona. I was super stoked. So you got the 89 Ford Mustang Fox Body Hatch. Got all my big body Mustangs. Got the M2 Fox Body down here. This was all Tetris, guys. Just trying to make everything fit. That way I was able to move. Look at that, more Ferrari 333s. There's my exclusives. Only one of my Cyclone exclusives. Let's see, you got the Ferrari Enzo. Got the Mustang. Treasure Hunt, another Ferrari. All I can say guys, is I love you all who have sent me these awesome, awesome packages um, that consisted of everything that's in here. Um, a lot of you guys had sent so still going through I got to find a way to put all this stuff all my loose castings definitely need to go in here um, you can see I still have my 4k milestone cars I got the two Lamborghini matchbox uh, which I definitely do like a lot the Mach 1 that uh, Porsche 164 collector sent me and you name it, they're all in here. Look at that. Corvettes back to back. Rapids favorite DeLorean, which is also mine as well. The Viper. I don't even remember what's in these cases. Um, I utilize the little hauler. Let's take this off. I don't need this right now. I don't even remember what are in these transports. I think I have another one. Look, there's another Ferrari. Oh man, everywhere I'm gonna look now, I'm gonna see Ferraris. Another Ferrari. Where's the other? I know I have another trailer. But let's go ahead and see what's in this one. I completely forgot what's in this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My T Top GNX. Forgot about this one. That's clean. I don't know about that massive hitch, though. That has definitely got to go, but. Oh yeah, I forgot that was even in there. Treasure hunt. Some Ferraris. I feel like I'm turning into the Ferrari hunter instead of the <laughs> instead of the Mustang hunter. You got the other treasure hunt. Some customs that was sent to me. You got the other. I think this was the Knight Rider style custom. You got the JDC custom right here. Nice and protected. Oh yeah, here's another one. Let's see what's in the trailer. Oh yeah, forgot about this one. Look at that, such a beauty. All right, so there's that one. Look at Naz. Hey guys, what's happening? So hopefully you guys enjoy the quick recap of me trying to remember exactly all the stuff I have. Um, hopefully I could fit some of these castings up in this spot. I should be able to. Um, man, these are dusty. Look at that. Ugh, that box. That box was like that way before I packed it, but just looking at it just breaks my heart. The Carol Shelby GT350H. Got Dotson Man's custom diorama. Got the 2020 GT500 from King Nut's dad. Daddy King Nut. This one. Oh yeah, this is the Chase M2. Got the 750 piece Chase. Oh yeah, there we go. Don't wanna mess this up. 66 Shelby. Man, this looks so good. Oh yeah, look at that. This case is just scratched up. Yeah, a bunch more dioramas and then a whole lot of mainline cars. So there is that. Let's go ahead and put this back in there. Five pack. The Matchbox Exotic, which I definitely do like a lot. Look at that. It's 
sweet. I'm glad I did pick this up though, because I haven't been able to see, I haven't been able to find it again um, since. So definitely glad I picked that up. Let's go ahead and put this over those to protect that. Protect that. Five pack protects all of that. These are everybody's letters that have ever been sent to me, drawings, all that stuff, guys. I told you this means the world. So I definitely didn't throw anything, any of my letters away. Oh man, I still got all of these. Definitely not gonna fit that. All right, let's open up the second container. Ooh. All right, so this was all predominantly trucks. Most of my trucks, Fast and the Furious ones. Yeah, these are all my trucks. Got my Mavericks. Yeah, I've got all my Mavericks. This was my custom that I did. It's not an actual exclusive. Um, but it's funny how I did this custom and then it came out as the exclusive color. So I had this before Hot Wheels released the Kroger exclusive. Yep, all my off-road trucks, the jeepneys, and then everything else under this is Mustangs. That's what's in there. All right, bottom case. What is in this one? Oh yeah, all my Porsches, exotics, all my other stuff, M2s. Man, this card got messed up. But it's okay, I have two of these. This was the main one. I was more concerned about. Oh, oh, I did get the Ferrari flames. Oh, nice. I was saying like, oh man, I should have grabbed those when I did. And I guess I did. So nice. But there's that. This was from AFAL Man. Bought that from him. Or I gave him the money to buy that one. It was pretty pricey, but definitely worth it. So that's really it. I gotta figure out what to do with all these castings and all those cards, because that is full. Might have to get a bigger one of those. That is all I got, guys. I'm gonna continue to mess with all this. Hopefully you enjoyed the little recap of everything that's pretty much in my collection. I can't wait to unbox all these guys. But all I got, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up and of course, comment down below. And until next time, this is the Mustang Hunter. Peace.